subscribe to the YouTube family Sinyang Kunda Subscribe to the YouTube family Sinyang Kunda I can speak it in the of Subscribe the YouTube family the YouTube channel family Sinyang Kunda Ngen like and share Ngen comment My Lendinya Thank you Get it Jeff Get it Jeff I know you're a fool for them. You guys ready? ready? Yeah, sing your hands for y'all. Come on. All right, let's do it. Sing ya. Yo, Kala. Yo, Kala. Papa did the pop, Papa did the pop. By me. Who are we? Who are we? The Senya family. Hey. Who are we? Who are we? The Senya family. Hey. Who are we? Who are we? The Senya family. Hey. Show them who you are. Really? So different from last time. Hey guys, it's me, Simone. I just want to share real quick that with learning a new language, we have to be very patient with ourselves because it is a completely new language and we cannot be afraid to mess up. The kids around here, the adults, everyone laugh at me all the time because I say words wrong um, or I may say a phrase in the wrong space or something like that. Um, but they laugh at me and they always say, but you're trying. So I really appreciate that. Another thing is, is that um, everyone is my teacher from the youngest child up to the oldest um adult um are all my teachers they all are very patient um if i am trying to say something to them they are ready to listen they are ready to correct me and i really appreciate that the last thing that i want to point out is that um People also may not tell you the full part of how to say something correctly. So you want to be prepared for that too because um, when you're learning a language, you just take a little bit by little bit and you just build on top of that, add to it. So that's the reason why I like learning these words because as I'm listening, I am able to build on my vocabulary from the words that I know and just continue to build. So, happy learning! Danka danka! Salam alaikum! Wa alaikum salam! Hey guys, it's been a while since I talked to you guys and I wanted to share with you a few things that, um, has been happening which is going to be multiple videos but I want to come on because the last time I did a video of um, relative words that are in Wallaf that is that we can relate to English so that we can learn all of faster um, so I have my camera down in the glove compartment because um, I don't want to put it up because I have my door open. I'm waiting for my husband. He's at the work site. And I don't want to put it up here or hold it because my window is down, my door is open, and we know what has been going on around um, the country or mostly with YouTubers that we know about. That people have been snatching stuff stealing things and i don't want that to happen so i put it here where it's a little secure i can close the door real quick if, some, if someone wants to come up or you know they won't see it to want to grab it um i want to also say that i've never felt scared or nervous that someone want to take something from me 
um so it's really odd you know to to think about these things but it is what it is it's where we are right these are the times so i wanted to review the 10 words that was relative to the english language not only words but phrases um uh, sentences that was relative obama yeah. make a day b hey you working yeah okay okay pray namaste Oh, okay. Okay. So I wanted to review some of the words that we did um, last time for that are relative to the English language um, that we already know. That could be easy, easier for us to learn all of. And guess what? I have 10 more. <laughs> I have 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I like I have nine more for us. So I am going to uh, review the first 10 and then I'll give you the new nine. Okay. So I'm gonna see if you guys can remember it. So the first one is no pill. No pill. No pill means shut up. And remember, I said I remember it by saying no peeling of the lips. So if I don't, if I'm, my lips are peeled at this time because I'm talking. But if I don't peel my lips, I can't talk. You see, I shut up. No peel, no peeling of the lips. <laughs> um, care. So I actually found out that the correct way to say it is care k-e-r-r -R. not care but care k-e-r-r -R. care b i'm still learning guys care it's k-a-r-r -R, but i hear care so care can mean family compound house any of those things care so um like for instance, um, so I I related to being something that you really that you're passionate about, something that's true, that's um, that is very meaningful meaningful for you. Care you care about it. What do you care about the most? You care about your family. You care about your home. You care about your compound. You know if you have a compound. Uh, most people in the states don't have compounds, but here most people live in compounds. So you care about your home, you care about your family, you care about your compound. And that's basically what care is. So some people may say suck care. And suck care means suck uh, care. Eh, what does suck care mean? I, I always thought suck care. I always say suck care. The, I mean, I think it means the, the family or the house, something like that. But like when um, they ask me, where are your kids? They say, Nick. they say, Anna, Holly. And I say, sick care be, meaning that they're at the house. So, sick care. Basa means your. Suma means my. So, I wonder why I say, why I don't say at my house. Is that I seem like I'm saying at your house? I don't know. But that's, that's care. The other one is goblet. Goblet. Um, which is drinking glass. So I have come to learn that a lot of people don't use this word, but it is in the book that I have here that I am learning from. And a lot of people don't really use goblet to me, which means drinking glass. They don't use it, but hey, it is what it is. The other one is defashare. Um, So I took that one as you definitely not going to sell that. Defasare, defasare. You're definitely not going to sell that because it's too expensive. Deficit, deficit. Okay, so it means it's too expensive, it's too much. That's what that means. Remember this one? One knock. One knock. Okay. okay. One knock means bathroom. Bathroom. 
one knot fabric okay and this one is very easy I know you guys can remember this but it is wine and sometimes they say wine bean wine wine bean wine people that like to drink wine where do you get your wine from the kitchen wine you get your wine from the kitchen wine be wine is kitchen in all of us wine this one is another easy one it's maggot which is very easy to remember because it means old so if something is um old it usually get maggots on it or um like fruits or um or meat, especially when it's old and rotten, it get maggots on it. So that means old oh, maggots. Uh, Obama old. Like it. Okay. The next one is Faber. Faber. So I, so when I hear that, I listen to Fever. Faber. Fever. I relate those two words yeah. together, meaning sick. Uh, let me put you here, boy. That must be Faber. Meaning I'm sick. Okay. The next one is self-contained. Self-contained. Self-contained means inside when you're a mansion. So something big. It's a mansion. It's a self-contained. Huge. You you can contain yourself there. You don't have to go out. You don't have to do anything. It's a self-contained. Babe, what do you want me to do? Okay, I'm coming. It's a self-contained. It's huge. It's a it's a mansion. That's what a self-contained is. Okay. And this one is my favorite. It's ooh you, ooh you, ooh you, ooh you, ooh you, yeah boy, ooh you ibu, ooh you small, ooh you. Oh, you means answer. So I remember that by saying, "Ooh, you better answer, Mama. She calling you. Ooh, you better um answer, Daddy. He's calling you. Ooh, you like. Ooh, you might be in trouble, but it just simply means answer. So if somebody's calling you, Simone, 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 and I may not hear them, another person can say, "Ooh, you, Simone." No. If someone is calling, if Evil is calling me, and I may not hear him, I can. I may. They may say, Simone, Simone. Who you, Evil? Answer, Evil. Simone. Somebody just keeps on saying now. Who you, Evil? Who you, Evil? That means answer evil. Simone, answer evil. So that's what that means. Okay. So those were our review. That was our little review. I hope you guys remembered some of those words because I think that they're very easy. You guys, let me know if if this is helpful for you with learning all of. Um, <clears throat> because I want to continue to find more relative words that we can remember or more ways that we can remember easily to try to learn all of faster so here's my new list as i'm learning i'm teaching it to to you guys or i'm recording it so that i can have it to reflect on as well okay so here are the new ones so this one is ballet so the correct pronunciation is ballet 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 when I hear ballet, I think of ballet. Not like the voting ballet or anything like that. I think of ballet. Ballet. Um, and the reason why I have to think of ballet is because, you know, when you, the ballet, you kind of, you know, dancing, doo -doo 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 ballet. I have to think of it like that because when you're sweeping the floor, you kind of, dancing a little bit ballet so ballet if you haven't guessed yet is sweeping so you sweep ballet ballet you in the broom i think it's also ballet i have to be sure of that 
is sweeping ballot or the broom is ballot. One of those. But I know that when we're looking for the broom, they say, uh, and a ballot bee, and a ballot bee, where is the broom? And a ballot bee. And then if I say, if I want someone to sweep for me, I may say, ballot, ballot. And they'll come sweep. So it could be both. Okay, so this one is very easy. Um, it is Kong Kong. So this is actually Kong Kong. So a lot of you that are already here may hear people using this, especially if you're living in a compound. Uh, so the word is Kong Kong. It's just like it's spelled C O M E. -C Remember, it's Kong Kong. It may sound like Kong Kong, but it's actually Kong Kong. C O M E. Come, 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 come. So it's almost like a knock, 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 knock. Anytime anybody comes to your house, because most of the time your doors are open. All the doors are open to your house. The front door, the back door, the side door, all the doors are open. And um, pe most people put a curtain up to be able to get the fresh air coming in, but also to kind of have some privacy. So when someone come up to the... Um, the curtain of course they can't knock on it for you to hear so most of the time they say come 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 and that's their knock knock okay knock knock and you say eh, kokala and it means who is it so then they say oh it's me come in okay so come 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 means knock knock so you go to someone's house you say come come and then you go in or you go to someone's room and they, their curtain is, is up, come, come, before you go in. It just means knock, knock, I'm here, okay? Now this one um, is um, nay, low, nay, low. When I hear it, I hear mellow, mellow. But you have to remember it's not an M, it's an N, nay, low, nay, low. And what that means is sleep. So when I hear mellow, means you calm, you mellow, you relax, you sleeping, I'm mellow, I'm relaxed, I'm chilling, you know? So nello, nello means sleep. Mm -hmm. So when, every morning when I get up in the morning, my neighbor always asks me, Nekahale, I say nello. Nello means they're sleeping okay it just means sleep but i don't know the, the they are sleeping i don't know that part they are sleeping so i just say sleep it probably even just means sleep or sleeping i don't know but nello i remember i'll get the rest of it later but right now nello you see nello okay so the next one <laughs> is this is something that people say all the time oh my gosh they use it for everything and if any of you out there that are already in gambia and you don't speak olaf you're learning olaf and you listen you may start picking up on this this word if you haven't picked up on it yet but it's dinga dinga and i think that dinga is like you know what i'm saying dinga and i remember it by saying ding dong or ding 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 like you hear me do you hear me ding dong or ding 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 is dinga that's how i remember it like ding 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 dinga so people say it all the time but i think it's something like you know what i'm saying or um, you know, kind of like something that they just use. Like when I'm when I'm talking to you now, I guess kind of like like. <laughs> hey. Like is like dinga, I think. I, I can explain it that way. But they say dinga for everything. They was it's like you listening? Are you listening? Do you hear me? Do you hear what I'm saying to you? It's kind of like when you explain it to someone and you may want to make sure that they hear what you said. You say, Jirajiv Dinga. Um, 
Set up my dinga. Meaning, look for me. Dinga. You hear me? Um, Jadajab dinga. Thank you. Dinga. Thank you. You hear me? Um, so it could mean anything. So I've been saying everything dinga. Because everybody say dinga all the time. So I've been saying everything dinga. Even if I'm speaking language. I'm telling my kids, hey, I'm going out. Um, I'll be back. When I come back, I want you guys to have this room clean. I want you to have this kitchen um, clean. Dinga. And they say, wow, wow. And I say, okay. And if somebody knock on the door, you don't answer. Dinga. And they say, wow, wow. So it's kind of like, listen. Or you hear me? Okay. All right. So dinga. So you can remember saying ding, 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 ding. Or ding, dong, ding, dong. Like, can you hear me? Okay. So this uh, next one. You have to use your hood slang. You have to put a little a little slang on it. Um, so this one is sasa. 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 Now <laughs> when I was growing up, I went to a high school in Atlanta, Georgia, named South Side. But we have a lazy tongue. So we don't say South Side High School. We say South Side. South Side. And it was in the hood, yes, for sure. It was in the hood. So south side, south side. So it's so I look at it as south side, south side, south side. But south side is where the bad boys are. <laughs> the bad boys are on the south side of town. Okay? South side, south side. So that could mean so that means bad boy. South side. So you may see a boy walking down the street and he may do something. You say, oh, south side, south side, bad boy, bad boy, you know? And uh, yeah, that's what it means, south side, bad boy. All right, the next one um, is fash, fash. So when I think of it, when I hear fash, I hear fast, F-A-S-T. Fast, but fash is F A S S. So F A S S, fash, is fast in my mind, which means horse. Horse are really fast, right? Salam alaik. Horse, horses, something flew in my eye. Horses are really fast. So I relate that to fast. Fast. Fast is horse. Okay. Now this next one is easy because is it's just easy. So this next one is fell. Fell. Like F-A-I-L. Fell. So when I think of it, I think of it as fell. You know, something fell, not fell, F-E-L-L, -L, but fell, F-A-I-L. Kind of like um I think of it, I think of it as um something is not right something did not did not turn over right something did not if yeah. i'm not sure i'm not sure i'm not sure if you what you got uh, you get fast 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 is horse fast 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 horse, fast horse, fast horse, fast. Horses are very fast, so they're fast horse. Okay? I think we got that one. The next one is uh, fail. Fail. So it means you're turning something off. Fail. So fail lamp of bee. Fail lamp of bee. Fail. Turn off the lights. Okay? Turn off the light. Fail make it go make it go off make it go away fail okay f-a-i-l fail fail like something is off something is not right something is um wrong fail so you might want to say fail lamp of bee turn off the lights okay so the next one they bring to the next one lamp now that what does it sound like to you lamp lamp 
Lamp is light. Lamp. Lamp. Light. Lamp. Lamp. Light. Lamp is light. Alright. And the last one for today is moto. Moto. Now, moto is just like motor. 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 M O T O R. Moto is M O T O. So, moto. Like auto. No. <laughs> I was thinking automobile. Um, moto. Motor. Motor. Moto is car. Motor is truck. Motor is van. Motor is any um, vehicle. So, moto. Motor, mo like a motorbike, motor, motor bike, motor, moto, M O T O, is car, motor. You can remember that because it's motor. That's easy. All right. Good. So let me go through it real quick and let me see if you can remember it. I'm not gonna tell you this. I'm just gonna go through the review. Alex. Come, come. Nelo Binga Sasa Fess Lampa Fail Moto Alright uh -huh. That's it uh -huh. uh -huh. Alright I have a question for you. So, sa is your. Uh -huh. Sa is your. Soma is mine. Okay. Oh, I'm going to go with me. So, why do I say, when people ask me, my kids, I say, um, to care me. Nyum, nyum. Nyum to care me. Huh? Nyum to care me. Nyum to care me. No security. No security. No security. You try, you know, you have to get head behind the top, you know. Wow. Danka danka. Danka danka, wow. Wow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.